Now, if you had your beard for about a year or so at a very extensive length and just recently cut it and want to grow it back out again, is it easy to regrow your beard? And to the short answer, no, it's not. Hey guys, my name is Scott Barnes and yes, I am regrowing out my beard and no, it is so hard, right? It is not easy to regrow your beard. And to the short answer to that is because I have to retrain my mustache my beard, I've got to cut everything nice and neat. And as we go on into the beard growth, I'll show you guys some quick tips and tricks how to keep that beard nice and neat through the process. So first, I want to give you guys a couple things why it's so really hard to grow your beard. Because initially, right, when you have your beard already grown, you think, yeah, it was just grown that way and that's how it was. But no, it's not. Because as your beard grows out, you actually have to train it, especially the mustache, right? For me, the, the walrus effect is real as my mustache grows inside and in towards the mouth. So one thing that I have to do is I have to apply in a copious amount of mustache wax each day, each night to keep that beard and mustache form, uh, you know, what it needs to do. So I will pinch it, move it and twirl it out. And as the day goes on, I might apply more. But as that mustache grows out, it will form a memory into where it needs to lay and stay. Now, you have to think about this. Not every beard hair grows at the same length, at the same speed, at the same time. Everything's a little different, right? Where the hair follicle meets up here, down here, even under the chin, they're all gonna grow a little different. And that's where you have to kind of meet everything up. And this is where the awkward stage comes in and everything's just a mess. You don't know what to do. And what the worst thing that we always do is we cut it off. So we have to have that mindset that there's gonna be that month where everything is a little awkward, but once everything meets up, that's where we go and know that things are gonna be all right. So for example, remember, if I grow out the top of my earlobe right here is gonna take about, what, six inches, uh, five to six inches to meet um, you know, my chin area and the bottom of my chin, which is going to be the first thing that you are gonna be trimming in your beard is going to grow right away, right? So that first six inches right here and we have it so they don't meet. So what do we have to do? We have to trim this up just a bit for this to meet. So everything kind of comes together at the same time. And so that's where a lot of people struggle with the beard growth is because once, yes, they've grown it out before, but they forget over time, a little bit kind of tenacity they had to push through to get to that point. So if you are a newbie and you are growing out your beard for the first time, congratulations coming on the train. So just remember, there's gonna be some hurdles coming in along with that. But once again, come back, go to some different channels, give you some motivation. But this is a great way for you to learn how to apply those products and tools to yourself. That way you can get through that awkward phase or that uncumbersome, like just everything's not working right. And we can come here because remember too, you know, the haircut, there's just a lot of things that coincide about growing out your beard because if your hair is messy and your beard looks on point, it doesn't work. If your hair is on point and your beard messy, it just doesn't work. You got to make everything kind of the yin and yang. So everything's, you know, nice and cohesive and copious, all those good words. <laughs> so yeah, if you did cut off your mustache and your beard and you're regrowing out, remember it's going to take a little bit of time. And for you newbies out there, yes, it's going to take a little time, but Come with me, grow with me. It's gonna be a fun time. And if you are growing out for your first time and you're staying to the end of the video, please go down there and comment. I wanna know, I wanna chat with you guys. I wanna hear about your experience. So with that, like, subscribe, check me out on all the social media. Love you like always, and I will see you on the flip side. See you.